Oh, so it's high tide at uh, Runswick Bay. So I'm uh, walking towards the uh, the Grey Shales area. Uh, I've been to Runswick for oh quite a long time. Uh, certainly not the uh, the Grey Shales area. Probably probably over six months. So yeah, it's quite a while since I've visited. Uh, it is high tide. It's one of the places you can get down at high tide. Uh, without too much effort uh, and it is the evening so we haven't got too much uh, sunlight left uh, so yeah but it's a lovely day some nice big breakers coming in which uh, means that hopefully it's stirred some of the fossils up broke up some of the shale uh, I'm running the risk that someone's been down here this morning and cleaned the place up but uh, you never know there's always a good chance of finding something can never find everything so yeah making his way down the path certainly not going to get down the ramp because that's uh, it's quite high actually see so, yeah, it has just gone high tide so it's on its way out now should get about three hours uh, before uh, it gets dark and again it's a nice easy beach so even if it does get a little bit dark can see to get my way back across the beach so yeah so heading over there that shady bit <laughs> with no sunlight uh, and we'll see if there's any uh, tenucostatums or uh, elegantiserous blocks dropped out of the cliff and in the sea <sighs> so, heading out so the uh, the middle of the bay here these cliffs that look like mud this is actually glacial till so it's deposited at the end of the ice age a uh, bit like on the Holderness, uh, so you can get fossils in there, but obviously not uh, the actual original beds. Uh, but yeah, the glacial till kind of is deposited uh, on top of the uh, actual Jurassic beds. Uh, so even though it is old, it uh, it's not actually come from this site. It's uh, been moved by the glaciers. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the area we're looking at over there, it is the, uh, in the corner where the sunshine is. The basal beds are uh, Upper Pleiades Bacchian, so we've got the uh, Pleurocerus, and then as we, uh, as we move along this headland, uh, we're actually, uh, the rocks are dipping down and we're getting younger, so We'll start with the uh, jet rock and move on to the uh, the grey shales. All right, it's time to say goodbye to the sunshine. When we fit the jet rock, you can see there that nice big uh, big nodule which shows you were in the jet rock. Not sure what layer that is, but it could be uh, uh, millstones or fairy stones or uh, pseudo vertebrae that kind of thing so the uh, there's three distinct layers of uh, jet rock with different big concretions in but uh, yeah doesn't look like there's much cropped out of the cliff, cliff though and there's a rock there though worth it though. Ah, that's a pretty big sea. I don't wonder to the uh, the cliff fall now. It's pretty slim pickings. Pick this up. It's a little jet rock uh, nodule. Little cannonball. I'll give it a wash. There could be a sign of something just in there. Can't really tell without giving it a crack so uh, some lovely crystallisation on the top, but uh, yeah, we'll give this a crack open and see if there's all inside. So no, that's an empty one. So I'm going to go looking for a few nodules so you can find a few poking out. Uh, doesn't look like there's a lot today, but uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. So as the tide's going out, we'll keep looking uh, through the rocks so you can see any nodules poking out. So many signs of ammonites, but just uh, yeah, not very many nodules. A few broken ones, but yeah, there's a there's an imprint of one there. It's absolutely stuffed full of them. 
Uh, there's fossils everywhere. There's a big, uh, big plate of uh, crushed ones here. Yeah. And one poking out of there. But yeah, <coughs> nothing collectible, unfortunately. tapped so yeah lots of tap nodules but uh, nothing really to look at uh, for me at the moment so well it is the way sometimes got to take a look at these places one day it can be good one day it can't right so there's a fallen block of shale here so it's not in situ we can uh, knock it about a little bit I uh, saw an impression so I thought right I'll uh, no, no else better to do at the moment while the tide goes out. I'll uh, I'll see if there's out inside it. We find this nodule, confirming it is a grey shale's uh, bit of shale, and that's got uh, belemnite fragment corn in it. I've done a bit more digging, and uh, just there looks like the first nodule. <coughs> yeah, you can definitely see a keel poking out there. So yeah, definitely looks like a nodule. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice uh, tenuicostatum nodule. Dactylioceros tenuicostatum. See the keel goes all the way around, so hopefully that one will be all right. Yeah, just found another. We go just in there that's poking out so split that out of the block yeah get that one out and see if it's any good so unfortunately that one was on the surface and it was squished so yeah not much uh, not much in that one it was uh, yeah it was on the surface of the nodule and it's uh, very flat in the middle so it's not preserved however the one I caught earlier on I thought well right give that a little bit of a tap and uh, look at that lovely tenuicostatum ammonite there a little bit of squishing in the very middle but not a bad ammonite so not always easy to spot these but that's a tenny nodule no sign of a keel right, it's definitely grey shales Tell by the shape, so we'll give that a little tap, see if there's all inside. And unfortunately, it's another Bellum Knight Fragmacone, so no tenny in that one, never mind. Right, on the way back, uh, unfortunately, just one tenny Castatum Ammonite, but at least I'm not going away empty handed. So, yeah, tide's going out a little bit more now. Uh, there we go, heading that way. Mm -hmm.